We all have a mind's eye image of what our day is going to be about as we get our gear together and drive to the water. Depending on how you like to fish, you might want to fish a certain way, or maybe you don't want to fish a certain way. Unless we're completely sold out to all or nothing to our preference, it's important to give ourselves an out, or at least leave ourselves options in case things don't go as we hoped. Well, should doesn't always happen, and we're caught without what we need more often than not. It's in those moments that we have to think things through to see if there's a way to use and modify what we have and apply on-stream adjustments in order to have a chance at what the water is offering. This day we had our minds and gears set to sight fishing for browns in clear water. A long spring full of streamer fishing and I intentionally took two streamer boxes out of my pack that morning and left them home. The day was going well and we sighted and caught some nice trout in a long structure. We arrived at a hopeful run home to good browns. Naturally, we didn't find any browns. Instead, the call from the high spotting bank was that there were two pike holding where a couple of good browns should have been. One was a rather exceptional pike. The two callers up high wanted the pike caught, but me the angler had limited options. It was doubtful the pike was going to eat a mayfly, nor a mayfly spinner, a caddis, uh, not going to eat hoppers, or a stonefly, nor any of their associated nymphs. I was laughing at myself for ditching the streamer boxes at home. I scoured the seven boxes in my pack and found that in my hopper and stonefly box, I had left a handful of small, barely weighted streamers in the bottom corner. I hadn't planned on streamer fishing, much less targeting a 10 pound pike, yet there I was, my audience on the cliff making demands I find a way. Those pike weren't likely to eat a one or two inch streamer, and that's when it hit me to make an adjustment to take a minute and piece a plan together. I used a few pieces to make a hole. Available to me were three small, light streamers, some 20 pound butt section of a leader material, and two pike that weren't going anywhere. I had time. Using that 20 pound butt section, I tied the three flies in a daisy chain, tying an inch of the 20 pound to the bend of the lead streamer, then tying on the next fly. I did that twice to join three flies, and the result was crude but so are most articulated streamers. Instead of only having small flies, I now had a seven inch long, sparkly, articulated streamers. Now I had something to go at these predatory pike with. I got rid of my 15 foot 4X leader I was using for sight fishing browns, and I tied on a 12 foot section of that 20 pound butt section, tied on my new articulated streamer, and had a go. 